This is Into Math, second grade, module 13, lesson one. We are going to start on page 303, and the goal is to rewrite addition problems. We are going to rewrite addition problems and find the sum. So please get your uh, math workbook and a pencil and turn to page 303. We are going to start at um, step it out, question one. Ken counts 57 toy cars. Larry counts 25 toy cars. How many toy cars do they count? Okay, let's follow the directions A through F together. We're going to start with A. Rewrite the addition in the chart. Here is the chart that they give us. For each add-in, write the tens in the tens column. Then write the ones in the ones column. And if you're looking at that word add-in and trying to remember what that is, that just means um, when the numbers are added together. So here we have 57 and 25, and those are each add-ins that we're um, adding together. Okay, so we are going to fill in this chart. And remember the first um, information we received was Kevin counts 57 cars. So we're gonna go ahead and write uh, 57, that's five tens and seven ones. And then the next information that we have says Larry counts 25 cards. So we're gonna add 25 to 57. And so we're going to write a two for the tens and a five for the ones. Great, now we have um, written the addition problem in the tens and ones column correctly. Let's take a look at part B. Add the ones, regroup if you need to. So here we have seven ones and five ones and we are adding them together. So seven ones and five ones make how many ones? Well, we can count seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're counting on and we find that seven plus five makes 12 ones. Now it asks us to think, are there 10 ones to regroup? Do we see a 10 in this number? We do, there's a 10, um, one group of 10 and two ones when we have the number 12. And so we're going to take that number 12 and I'm even gonna just draw it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we are going to regroup it. So we're going to take 10 and we're going to make this into a group of 10 and then we have two right here left over so now we've taken 12 and we've, we're going to change it to one group of 10 and two ones all right we're ready for part c write a one in the tens column to show the regrouped 10 so this number here, we are going to write right here in the tens column. And then the two ones that we have left over, it says write the number of ones left over in the ones place. So that would go here. So the two ones that are left over, we're going to write those here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Great, okay. Let's look at part D. Add the tens. Write the number of tens in the tens place. Oh, we have three numbers here. We have one, five, and two. So we have five tens, two one, tens, and one ten. So we're going to add all three of these numbers together. And when we add five plus two, I know that that's seven, and then I add one more to seven, and that makes eight. So I have made eight tens. And now I'm going to write that in the tens column right here. Okay, so when I add 57 and 25, I get the number 82. 
Now I'm going to follow the direction, write the sum as tens and ones. So I found that I had eight tens and two ones. And so now I can solve this problem and say they have, how many all together? They have 82 toy cars together. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page under Step It Out. We are going to read this problem. Giovanna draws 36 pictures. Then she draws 58 more pictures. How many pictures does Giovanna draw? And then there's this great addition problem underneath. It says 36, which is what she drew first, and then she added 58 more pictures. So now we're trying to figure out, well, how many pictures does that mean that she drew? Like, what's the total? All right, let's take a look at part A. Rewrite the addition in the chart. Look at this great chart they gave us right here. This is awesome. So let's go ahead and write that um, the problem into this chart. And you may want to pause right now and go ahead and do that yourself. You can do that or you can just follow along with me. That's fine too. So first there were 36 and then she added 58 more drawings. So we have our tens column, which is here, and our ones column, which is here. Okay, we're ready to move on to part B. Add the ones. Regroup if you need to. So here we have six ones plus eight ones. So six ones plus eight ones equals how many ones? Hmm, you may need to pause, which you can do. You can add on in your head. But when we add six plus eight, we get the number 14. And then it asks us to regroup. So when we look at 14 um, ones, excuse me, we would have 14 ones really means one group of 10 and four ones. So we have 14 really means one, 10, and four ones. So then it asks us to write the ones digit in the ones column and the regrouped ones in the tens column. So just like we've done before, we're gonna take this answer and we're not gonna write 14 here because this is only supposed to be one spot, right? We're not gonna write that number in there. So we are going to write the four ones in the ones column, then we're gonna take this 110 and we're gonna put it in the tens column right here. All right, I think we're ready for the next part. The next part, part D, says to add the tens. So we have three numbers in the tens column. We have one, three, and five, and we need to add them. So let's go ahead and write those in. We have one group of 10, three groups of 10 and five groups of 10. And now we're trying to figure out when we put all of those together, how many tens do we have? So you can pause right now and solve that problem. You can follow along with me. We have one plus three, which I know is four. And then I'm going to take that four and add it to five. And four plus five makes nine. So we have a total of nine tens. So now it asks us to write the number of tens in the tens place, which is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Nine, wonderful. Now it asks us to write the sum as tens and ones. How many tens and how many ones are found in our answer? we see that there are nine tens and four ones. So we have solved this problem. Giovanna draws 94 pictures. Okay, let's check for understanding. 
This question asks us to rewrite the addition and find the sum. 75 plus 14 equals what? So our first step is to rewrite this addition problem. So we're gonna write 75 plus 14. Okay, now we're going to find the sum. So the first step is to add the ones column. We always add the ones column first. So five plus four makes nine. And then we add the tens column. Seven plus one makes eight. So our answer is 89. If you would like to go back and watch this video again, you may do so, and you can pause any time that you need.